Back cool. in uh, <laughs> 51, I had been at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds as a part of my Army service, and they were offering uh, summer appointments. Now, I'm now a graduate student, and, and I've left my job, and I'm a graduate student, PhD <laughs> candidate, and I'm not earning any money. So I took a summer job at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds, and I knew Frank Grubbs, Dr. Grubbs. And when I was there, why well, um, Frank asked me what I was doing, doing my PhD thesis and whatnot. I thought, well, I don't know, something in experimental design. Had I looked at that paper by Box and Wilson? And I said, yes, I'd read it. it was, and so we were able to chat about it. So I used to get together with Frank Wilcox, and we read that paper together. Oh, okay. And, uh, and then remarkably, when I get back to Raleigh in 1952, it turns out that F Frank Grubbs had arranged with Sam Wilkes to have the Army Research Office fund, the, fund George Box to come to the Statistical Techniques Research Group at Princeton. No, it, 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 I beg your pardon. No, he come, come to Raleigh. To Raleigh, to Raleigh. okay. Uh -huh. So in January 1953, George Box shows up. And I'm assigned to him as a graduate student. Talk about it. Now, that's, that's good luck. Yes, <laughs> that's, indeed. That's exceptional <laughs> luck. So I spent the whole calendar year with George, and of course that's where the th thesis on response server, the thesis on rotatable designs shows up. Uh, George goes back to uh, England with ICI, and I graduate in 54, we're back to that now, uh -huh. and go to work for American Cyanamid. I mean, yeah, now that's where you met Frank Wilcoxon. Yes, I met Frank yes. Wilcoxon, okay. yeah. Good old, uh -huh. good old. Uh-huh. Now, now, you want to hear about Frank? I Ruka? sure do. I, yeah. <laughs> what a wonderful character he was. Yeah. Well, I don't know. He was just he was up at Ladley Laboratories, and and that was a, sub, a subdivision of American Cyanamid. Charlie Dunnett and uh, Frank Wilcox were up there, and I would go up to see them about one thing or another, and I got to know Dr. Frank reasonably well, and. Um, what a wonderful character he was. He used to roost around a motorbike. He was as old. He's, I don't know, he's in his 70s or something. He'd ride the motorbike around, you know. And he used to talk about when he was a young boy in uh, Nyack. He used to um, take his ice boat out on the Hudson. This was when the Hudson River froze over. He'd have the ice boat on the Hudson River. Can you wow. imagine that? You're doing that sort of thing. And his, his young career at... Uh, <laughs> he worked for Bryce... Bryce Thompson, is that the landing of the laboratory? Because Jack Uden worked there as well. Anyway, at any rate, there are all sorts of wonderful stories about Frank Wilcox. And he was a great cyclist, great motorcyclist. Now, now he was a chemist by yeah. training. Oh, yes. And uh -huh. the interesting thing is that he worked out, he wasn't a mathematician or anything, but he worked out these rank tests uh, using the order statistics. And, um, and he just did it by tabulation and did them endlessly all by hand, all carefully, and, and published, the, um, published these uh, test statistics using rank order. And, um, you know, just creative, just, you know, on his own. And, um, and matter of fact, his, I think this is right, the Frank's paper appears in the first issue of... Uh, Biometrics, which takes that would take you way back. So, at any rate, the um, he makes this fundamental contribution to rank order statistics, as, and, uh, just mm -hmm. as a chemist working with the data, mm -hmm. trying to make sense of the data and make sense of small numbers of observations. So he was a, he was a very nice guy you know, all the way around. Yeah. I recall reading that um, I think from some of his original comments that he was surprised when he looked around the literature that he, could, he could not find, find it. That's right. That that he, had been done before. That's correct. So it was original work. It, it, yes, he just had to do it. Uh -huh. Someone has to. I have to do this, and so he did it for himself. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just remarkable. remarkable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just around. The, uh, we, came, we became very close friends. We'd go up and visit him quite often, and um, he and his wife. And uh, Frank's actually Frank, my oldest child, has Frank Wilcox as his godfather. As his godfather. Christian.